Good morning and welcome to the Polly the Wog channel. It's another beautiful day for street scrapping and it's going to begin right now. First stop of the evening is a small one. Some sort of uh, stand for something. Looks like something you'd hang your steamer hose on or something like that. Oh well, it's in the trailer. Let's hope we find a lot tonight. Well, that's a little bit more metal than the last stop. Oh, that's a nice heavy piece. I'm thinking it's steel. Let's just double check here. Yeah, that's steel. And the rest of that looks like it's all wood. Take a little peek in here. Everything else here is attached. Yep. All right. Well, we got a little bit in there. Take me, please. Well, we don't want an empty blue box, but we can take some of this other stuff. And it's got some electronics and cords in there, a frying pan. We found ourselves a couple of nice big old lamps. Oh, might as well save the light bulb. on it that broke. Where is the broken glass? I'll leave them in their light shades. Yeah, might as well save the other light bulb. these cords. Found a chair. There's the only thing sitting there, but you can see the chair is bent up and stuff, so the fabric's tearing on the chair, so yep. Let's see what else there is. The lady gave us a couple aluminum gutter pieces, so we took those. Now we're stopping for this cord. I'm going to clip that. And I'm going to grab all of this ladder in this pile and thought, is there enough metal on it? Yeah, there's enough metal on it. There we go. Every time I go scrapping. I always run into my fans. Let's grab the cord. Snip, snip. All right, and ourselves a little donation pile. Let's just start doing the old heave ho, and we miss. That was good. Yeah, right under the trailer with it. Now that's what we like to find on garbage night. A whole nice little scrap donation pile. We'll start with these bad boys. Bit there. 
a little bit of scrap. Just about got it all. One last little piece. Intractable. I don't know what was in there. It was lug nuts. Well, we'll give them a little plastic rash. Found right. some bed rails. It's always nice to find the bed rails. They're good and heavy, so. What is this last little piece? Yeah, that's got some metal on there. I think that's enough. There we go. Slowly coming together. Backtrack a little bit. I saw this stuff at the last second. I can't grab it all. And I can grab this last little bit. sure we don't get run over by cars. Well, it's been a slow night. We'll see if we find anything else. Find ourselves a little end table, a little shower racky type thing. Now, will the glass come off? Yes, it will. Just leaning the glass up against the tree over here so nobody steps on it. This looks brass, but you know it's not. It never is. But yeah, I'll double check quickly just in case. Nope, totally sticks. All right, again, I think we're just about done. We're not finding much. We'll give this another 10 minutes, 15 minutes, see if we find anything, and then we're heading home. We got ourselves a coffee maker and a microwave. I was gonna clip that cord. Let's grab that. Might as well grab that one too while we're at it. All right, I'm gonna load these in. Well, that turned out to be it. It was not a very good night of scrapping, as you can see didn't find all that much but uh yeah my brother's gonna have to go in and sell this in the morning anyways because he needs room in the trailer to do some other stuff so i'm only guessing that we probably have uh 100 to 200 pounds on here so i'm gonna guess that it is going to be 20 to 30 dollars in scrap probably closer to the 20 dollar mark well let's find out on the positive side though, got a handful of wires. So just wanted to show you that, you know, I got a fair bit of cords there. It's probably uh, a couple of pounds. So, you know, could be like three or $4 worth of cords. I don't know, I've been saving them up. One of these days I'm gonna do a non-ferrous run and uh, I'll let you guys know what I end up getting for all my stockpiled cords and everything. But until then, let's see what we got for this little bit of scrap. Alrighty, so we took in that little bit that we had on the trailer. My brother needed an empty trailer to do other things. And it turned out that our scrapyard charged us a mixed scrap price, which is the price that they give that's in between regular tin shred and enamel tin shred. So we got mixed scrap. It's a price that falls in between those two. So we had 220 pounds of mixed scrap going at $245 per ton or 12.25 cents per pound, which gave us a grand total of $26.95. 
Again, wasn't too far off my estimate. I guess 20 to $30. It was 26 95 Wasn't very much scrap on that trailer. So, hey, we'll take it. Anyways, I appreciate you watching once again. And I will see you in the next one.